Iowan uh, started in the late 90s to, to work in Syria. We opened an office in 2001. Some of the work that we're doing with partners to try to help people to recover from the devastation and destruction that they faced. We just did a series of projects with our partners. Uh, we've looked, for example, at uh, debris removal uh, and reconstruction of large-scale houses. We just visited a home here that was restored by IOM, one of 106 that have been done in this particular project. We have another 114 that are coming uh, to uh, closure very soon, and we hope to go beyond that depending on the kind of support we can get. What was particularly moving was we visited, open today actually, a new center for the construction of prosthetic uh, arms and legs. Uh, to help people who suffered uh, in the war. We then visited a school where people uh, who've lost a leg or an arm or even more uh, are trying to start their life again. They're receiving instructions to start a new career. And all that for me is not only encouraging, it's very inspiring. People have that much courage to try to start life again amidst all of the devastation that they have suffered and the devastation all around them. Uh, the destruction is enormous. One, no one knows how many. We know that there are hundreds of thousands of people who have lost a limb. Many others, of course, have been killed. And in all of this, all of us are trying to do what we can in a very modest way. Uh, we have every intention of staying the course here to help those devastated by the hostilities. And I've told uh, everyone here that I've seen that we're here for the long term as long as the people want us to be here.